Algebra 2 cram, New York State Algebra 2 Regents. But no worries, this is a Common Core cram session, so it's not limited to New York State. It's for the entire country as well as any Algebra 2 course throughout the world. So shout out to California, Florida, Georgia, North Carolina, South Carolina, the UK, Texas, India, and even Colombia. Functions. Question 11. Domain of a function. Graphical plot. The odds of someone doing what you tell them to do is pretty slim, but I guarantee that if you cram with me, you'll become an Algebra 2 master. Inbox me at kneemedicine at gmail.com so that I can give you a healthy dose of eye-opening awareness of your inner mathematical genius and your ability to do um, Algebra 2. So inbox me again order the complete cram session. Be sure to spread the word to your friends, classmates, peers, or even colleagues who might be taking Algebra 2 with you as well. You'll be glad you did and you guys will make great study buddies. Question 11. Domain of a function. This graph shows the effect of pH on the action of a certain enzyme. What is the domain of the function? Definitely press pause if you need to, and I'll give you a moment to think about the correct interval. And while you're thinking, in case you forgot what uh, the definition of a domain of a function is, the domain of a function is the set of all real number inputs or x values where the graph of the function exists. Okay? And in, in case you forgot what a real number is, real numbers are integers. Integers are counting numbers found on the number line, otherwise known as the x-axis. So numbers like 13, 0, 1, negative 1, negative 13, negative 100. All examples of counting numbers found on the number line, hence they're integers, okay? Real numbers also include rational numbers. Rational numbers can be expressed as simple fractions, and when you convert them into decimals, they either terminate or repeat. Well, it doesn't have to be a simple fraction. It's just a fraction that when you convert it into a decimal, the decimal either terminates or repeats. So uh, 698 over 700, that's a rational number, as well as 3 fourths, 2 thirds. Rational numbers are part of the real number set. Oh yeah, and last but not least, irrational numbers are also real numbers, okay? Numbers like um, the square root of two, whose value is approximately 1.41 dot dot dot. And this is an irrational number because you can't simply express it as a fraction because when you do try to convert the fraction to a decimal, the decimal will neither terminate or repeat. Another example of a common irrational number is the number E, or Euler's number, the natural number, the natural base of the natural logarithm, whose value is approximately 2.71, dot, dot, dot. The decimal never, ever terminates or repeats. And last but not least, pi. Pi is more well known amongst students. Uh, we commonly abbreviate it at 3.14, but the decimal actually continues on forever. All right, so again, take a moment to come up with the domain. All right, let's get into the answer. So um, the minimum x value um, on the graph is going to be 4, and the maximum x value is going to be 13, okay? Additionally, x takes on all values between uh, 4 and 13, and it's continuous within this interval, okay? There are no interruptions in the function. So the domain... Um, expressed in inequality notation is going to be 4 is less than or equivalent to x, which is less than or equivalent to 30.